Alfonso. Hi, I'm Janet Shakespeare. And we are uh, with the St. Tammany Parish Master Gardener Program. We're here at our uh, Slidell Herb and Pollinators Garden. Um, last fall we had planted this Italian wild fennel plant um, that is going really wild. Okay, it is wild and crazy. This you can harvest by just snipping and chopping into recipes or in a little few minutes we're going to show you how to harvest the whole bowl, bowl, bowl and make it into a gorgeous salad. So um, they also looks identical to dill. So the only way you would be able to tell the difference is if you smell this and taste it. It tastes like licorice, uh, anise tape flavor, so that would be the difference. And you shouldn't put them next to each other because the bees would cross-pollinate and mix and then it would, neither one of them would have a very uh, defined flavor. This is fantastic. These beautiful heads, if we leave them here, they're going to reseed in this very same spot and we'll have this coming back up uh, next season. Um, but if you'd like, you can take these heads off and actually cut them and put them into vinegar, white vinegar, apple cider, champagne, and make wonderful fennel vinegar to s season your vegetables and your salads. The other thing is these make beautiful fennel fronds. These fronds, if you squeeze them in the wild fennel, makes a, a fennel dust. And you could put that over your fish, um, over egg dishes. Um, and so if you see it on a menu uh, in New Orleans, whenever we can get back to eating in New Orleans, that will elevate the price of your dish if you see fennel dust on your menu. And, and look how wonderful it grows. Yes, and it's gone this. crazy wild. So give it the room and you'll just love it. It is a fantastic pollinator plant. It is an herb and it is considered a vegetable. But for pollination, this is wonderful. The caterpillars love it. Um, it's just a fantastic thing to have in your garden, whether you use it for culinary use or not. Okay, Linda, I wanted to ask you, um, so we can collect the seeds from this and use that in cooking also. Oh yeah, the fennel seeds that you buy in the supermarket in those little jars, if you let this go to seed, it's gonna dry and a lot of them the wind will blow it back in here but there'll be plenty for you to just take cut them off put it uh, inverted in a brown paper bag and let it just dry there and all the tiny little seeds will come out and you'll have something great for your dishes so you can harvest it straight you don't have to do anything special to this like um sometimes when i, when I want to collect seeds i put a stocking over it so that they don't just fall on the ground but I, these well these much, are kind of large they kind of stay in so there so i save a brown big brown bag from whole foods but i mean you just um, you don't have to do something while it's on the plant. No. It'll no. stay in the head. It will stay know. in the head, right. Okay. If you wait too long though, the wind will blow them no. everywhere. Okay, uh, so we're not gonna harvest our fennel here. Um, if you're at home and you just want a little bit of fennel to uh, chop over your fish or veggies, you just snip. Oh, this goes great in a yogurt mixed in with cucumber and mint. Um, so you can harm it like this. You can cut these um, shorter ones. I don't want to waste my little fronds. We're going to put those in vinegar later. Um, and you can just chop these like you would celery and then have them diced in egg salad or um, anything else. Or when we pull the bulb out, these leftovers, we can take a handful and throw it into a chicken stock and it, or vegetable stock and it is fantastic flavor. So I'm gonna now show you, we're gonna need the whole bowl. Bowl. And there's a few of them in here. One is still not as big as this. This is on the oh, plate, yeah. they're attached. Yeah, I gotta take them both out. It's had a baby. Let's leave some of the earth back in here. All right, so. Oh my gosh, I wish this was Smell-O-Vision. It is fantastic. Um, so here, it made a second baby coming up, and this one would be actually more tender to slice in. These really were ready to pick for our herb fest here uh, a few weeks ago, but once we had a uh, social distance with each other, uh, we kind of left it sitting here, and then Jen and I just decided we need to do something with this. So, I'm going to take this off, and um, I'm wondering if the, how the roots are going to be. 
Um, so this is truly a garden to table demonstration here right now. I will come back and I will not waste anything, but just for sake of showing you what we're gonna do, I'm now taking the garden gloves off. It brings some water, so let me cut off the bottom root. Wow, I should have brought a saw. Okay. Now, when you buy, let me just tell you, when you buy the fennel in the supermarket, they are more of a round bulb. You'll find two bulbs, usually or single with this head on it. Um, do the same thing with the bulb at home, but the, the, that nice round bulb is the vegetable fennel. This is the wild fennel, Italian fennel, uh, and, or, and the herb fennel, okay? So typically, there is a big core in here. The round bulb, you would just slice better. I'm gonna take these off and do slices with them. Okay, typically, you would take the bulb of fennel, if you have a mandolin, slice it paper thin. If you have a good knife, we'll take these off, the little salad parts. We're gonna rinse this first. Let me see what I'm rinsing. Okay, we rinsed our fennel now. I'm gonna take an orange. Today, I happen to have some blood orange in my ice box in the freezer section. We'll slice this up. And since we're trying to just do this very quickly, these extra rinds that are left over, you can dry them. And I really want to put it on a dish here because I want to reserve the juice. And we'll squeeze that a little. That's the next one. We're going to have more orange than fennel, I think. But hmm. Now, this combination of orange and fennel would go fantastic over salmon. Seared salmon. A little butter and whoo! Delish. You can make a liqueur out of this fennel too, you know. If you get a bottle of vodka and uh, fill the bottle, you fill another bottle empty filled with fennel and pour the vodka in and let it steep a few weeks. We'll have a fantastic liqueur and add a little simple syrup and you got a wonderful liqueur. There's so many recipes you can look up online. Especially in this time of quarantine. They do sell fennel in all the nurseries. Go out and put one into your garden. Alright, so we have this. We're going to slice slice a red onion oh another classic combination either regular oranges um, grapefruit with the fennel is wonderful I am a pink grapefruit nut I'm trying to get these very thin it's a little difficult on this wobbly table that should be good The beauty of working outside is everything can go back into the ground. Okay, I'm gonna put this over in the next batch. I'm gonna slice the fennel. Now again, if you buy the fennel, the bulbs at the supermarket, it will be a ball. You slice the whole thing, core and all, and it comes to pretty little ringlets, just like an onion. This one, too, would have been the same, but this is overgrown now. So I just want Janet to taste this flavor. So I'm more doing this as a herb topping than the actual ve vegetable. Without even using the fennel 
bold part. The fennel fronds will flavor equally as well. So since this is so tough, the fronds are going to give us the same flavor. You could do pretty slices here. This one I just broke up so we can taste and bite. A few red onions, a few of the sliced fennel. And we'll go in with a little of the fronds. That's fronds. F-R-O-N-D-S. Not Franz, as in Franzo or Fonzie from <laughs> Hey. Okay? So we're going to put on pepper and some salt. And I like to use seasoned rice vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar. White vinegar is more harsh, I think. And even a balsamic vinegar would be fantastic. A raspberry vinegar. I actually have a tarragon vinegar that I steep. That would be great. And there we have it. So, in our social distancing addition, so we just take a piece of. Yeah, bread. have Let's a go. take a little piece together. I forgot to bring forks. Oh, that is so full of so many different flavors. Different flavors, not your everyday kind of thing. And this could be a whole salad. You could add yeah. radishes to this. It would be fantastic also. It's a very good friend along with the fennel. The blood orange adds a nice sweetness. Then you have all the other more savory. That's right. Taste. That's very right. Good. Can something. you all see? I'm going to have my own. Eat your own food. And you make that as mm. an appetizer salad. This whole thing goes fantastic over a grilled piece of chicken or on the side or with salmon or any light fish tuna. So that's it for today. That's our herb for this season.